Well, good morning and welcome to my channel. Today is Tuesday, so it is Tea Time with Tracy. And I just wanted to show a little quick view of, of the yard before we start. Just cannot get sick of that. The buffalo are out in the field grazing this morning. They are fascinating creatures. They take care of their family. They take care of their little ones. It is a beautiful sight. And there is a lot of little ones this year. I'm going to try and zoom in. Try and zoom in a little bit. If I can. It's amazing. Well, good morning, and uh, what a beautiful day. Uh, oh, the lighting is terrible, but we have no sun. There is no sun today, and there hasn't been sun for a few days. It's northern Alberta, which means, yeah, it's almost winter. It's September, which I just... I don't know. I come from southern Saskatchewan and that is a place where it was, it felt like it was sunny all the time, hot. Right now, I think it was like 26 degrees. Today here is 13 and of course, no sun. Um, yeah, I'll sip of my coffee. Oh, the dogs are coming to visit. So anyway, I wanted to start this program with um, just tea time with Tracy. And basically this is coffee. We all know that, right? You know that's coffee, right? Yeah, it's coffee. I like tea though. I do like tea. I like, I like green tea. And I like flavored teas once in a while, but I mostly drink green tea. I thought it was a good... Uh, a good segue, it sounded more more uh, exciting. Tea time with Tracy, it, it rhymes, come on. Even uh, a couple people commented, that's catchy. It is, it is catchy. Anyway, Tea Time with Tracy will be, uh, this is a program where we can have a conversation and we can talk about topics that are important and if it's relevant or not, whatever. I like I like having a conversation, and a lot of times we don't have that conversation anymore. We have uh, a lot of technology, which, ironically, is how I'm coming to you today. But it is what it is. I'm uh, in the middle of an acreage, <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. So this is what we're going to do. Um, each week I will, uh, I'll pick a topic and if, uh, if there is any comments on uh, certain topics or whatever, you know, I'll, I'll pick one of them and, uh, we can discuss that as well. But, um, something came to me the other day and I, and, uh, that's what started this whole, this whole journey, this whole program is, um, what I wanted to talk about today. And, uh. I was I want to talk about anxiety it um, I went into town the other day and uh, a, a lot of times I wouldn't I wouldn't do that I wouldn't just I wouldn't just feel confident enough to leave the house go to town and not worry about anything if that makes any sense whatsoever, 
that feeling has not been with me for a very long time. Um, I usually feel like, you know, I don't necessarily feel about what I'm wearing. It's, it's whether people are judging, um, people, people are judging me. People are, are, uh, I guess judging what I'm wearing. I never really, um, am that self-conscious about that. Um, but it's just the fact of the social, the anxiety of actually leaving the house, actually going somewhere, if that makes any sense. Um, I have suffered with that for many years, depression as well, but I think, I, I feel like they go together, depression and anxiety, they go together. Um, it's, uh, one, one thing is for certain, uh, since I lost my weight, since I had uh, my surgery five years ago, I had sleeve surgery. Since I had that, I um, it has helped. It has really helped a lot with um, body body shaming, body issues, which has helped with my anxiety. Um, but you still get that. You still get that anxiety. You still get that depression. It depends on the situation if if uh, for myself I'm gonna speak for myself here and uh, I still get depression in uh, the winter but what I do now and it's been five years since I had my weight loss surgery but what I do now is instead of um, staying at home I try and go somewhere and it was like a vicious cycle I need to go somewhere but yet I feel anxious about that I I don't want to go somewhere because I feel like there's going to be people there <laughs> and there usually is so it was a uh, it was a cycle it was a vicious cycle and it was hard it was hard um, now I just wanted to uh, that's why I want to talk about it because anxiety I don't understand why there's so many people with anxiety now and I'm talking young people that was a question that came to me in my head anxiety is um, so I want to say rampant like so uh, talked about now everybody's talking about how they're anxious they have anxiety they um, and social anxiety social anxiety is a big one and you know, and I was thinking about this the other day. Like that's why when it was, when I was talking about um, my my diet and all that, and I was thinking, you know, why do people today, and young people, there's so many that have social anxiety, and I kept thinking, well, is it the media? Is it uh, the lack of people stimulation? Like you <clears throat> you notice that sometimes even if they're in the room with you they're texting each other they're they're not having a conversation they're texting i couldn't believe it i i've seen that so many times um a lot of times i started doing that and i had to stop because i was like why why not just have the conversation there are times when you want to text somebody in your in your little circle and there with other people or even with your family and you want to say something to them that nobody it's it's private it may be personal private and you don't want anybody to know okay pull them out of the room pull them out of the room go into the bathroom oh my god go outside have a conversation it's I'll never do that again it's um it's that part that part I I think that that's part of it is the phone we're not having that communication that um, <clears throat> one on one communication anymore um, yeah I, I blame social media I blame technology um, and then you know and I was researching this as well and they're saying that certain foods 
certain foods that we're eating are causing anxiety. They, they have studies and researched this for, for years. Um, there are certain foods that help with it, but there are certain foods that um, definitely, definitely cause it. And uh, one killer that I, I'm going to call it a killer, is sugar. Sugar. And uh, I preach this to my family. I think they're, I think they, yeah. I'm driving them nuts. Especially my uh, sister. Um, and my, and my mother. My mother, diabetic. And I, and I preach it quite a bit. Um. I mean, basically because I want them to have a good life and I don't want them to suffer and basically suffering you are suffering if you are um, if you are not happy and healthy and feeling good you just that's a suffering you do not need to have you do not need to suffer like that so anyways that was my conversation and um, I want to tell you I did, I did, like I said, I was doing research today and uh, I found six foods that help reduce anxiety, which, you know, I eat a lot of and maybe that's, maybe that's why, I should be a case study, maybe that's why it's helping, I don't know. Anyway, it's salmon, I eat a lot of salmon, a lot. Uh, chamomile, I drink a lot of chamomile tea, turmeric. Turmeric tea is amazing. I have a recipe if anybody wants that. Um, maybe I'll put that in the link below. Turmeric tea. <clears throat> it's, it, it tastes like crap. Not gonna lie. Uh, you're gonna have to add honey. Okay. Um, dark chocolate. Uh, I don't eat chocolate. Um, not even cocoa. So that's one thing I don't have. Yogurt. I crave yogurt. Okay, I crave yogurt. And I think it's because I gave up ice cream. Um, Christian always makes fun of me and says that yogurt is one step one step from ice cream or something like that. One step from ice cream. Something like that. Uh, green tea. Uh, and uh, other, some other foods. Some other foods are turkey, eggs, of course, dairy. Chia seeds, citrus fruit, bell pepper, almonds, and blueberries. Well, that's my diet. Everything, everything there is my diet except for the dark chocolate. And I was thinking, maybe, maybe that's what that's that's what's happened. That's why it's uh, I'm feeling so much better. Who knows? But I also have. Um, uh, started the ketogenic diet. Um, don't know if you're aware of that. I, I, I mentioned it before. Ketogenic diet uh, in January as well as uh, intermittent fasting. Um, I have not been not been uh, regular with that. Uh, that being said, I've been a lot better than um, than I was in the beginning now. Um, I don't know what that noise is. Somebody's crying. Anyway, I gotta let you go. Sorry about that. I had to go rescue my dog. She's making some noise up there. Uh, she got on the counter again and knocked off Cassie's food. This is Pepita, a little Chihuahua. Knocked off a of Cassie's food off the counter and proceeded to eat the container. Yeah. It's not like she's starving, really, but she's just a dog and she's a puppy. So, anyway, I want to leave you with uh, a couple of a couple of a couple of thoughts as far as uh, anxiety and uh, social anxiety, especially and uh, body image. Um, you just get to that aha moment and I just pray that you can get to that aha moment and it's not like you just don't give a care anymore but it kind of is. It's like you care more about yourself than what people think of you. 
and that's and that's golden that is like it's golden and it's wonderful and I'll tell you something um, you need to meditate meditation helps for, for anxiety meditation helps for just just the calm you need the calm you need to calm this what's going on inside there just calm it down and uh, just try it um, if you're in the feeling of um, anxiousness comes over you just take five minutes go in go in the bathroom if you need that uh, quiet quiet space bathroom is a perfect place for it go in the bathroom do a, a five minute meditation just clear your mind clear your negative images and just clear the mind cutter clutter and I'll tell you something it helps and that's what I'm gonna leave with you today is just clear your mind clear your negative thoughts clear your negative images about yourself clear them away get that broom out clear that clear the negative and uh, clear that mind clutter all the the crap that's in there all the would have shoulda coulda negative images negative thoughts clear all that and just focus and find your focus on your dream on your on your passion and once you do you will have that aha moment and you won't have to feel I got to get motivated anymore you just will feel happy and that's all this life this is all you want if you feel happiness everything else follows positivity everything will follow just joy joy happiness what else is there nothing nothing and health of course which like I said that's what the ketogenic diet is that's for me personally anyway. Anyway, take care. Love you. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you like the Tea Time with Tracy, subscribe and hit the bell. Because then you will know every time that I post a video. Take care. Take care, friends.